Our top story tonight, new possible charges against the woman accused of killing a former Arkansas state senator. A report out of Jackson County alleges Rebecca O'Donnell tried to arrange a number of hits, including murdering former state senator Linda Collins' ex-husband, Phil Smith. This allegedly happening from behind bars in Jackson County. O'Donnell is charged with capital murder and several other charges in connection to the death of Collins. Our Rochelle Turner has been looking into the details of this case. What did you discover, Rochelle? Well, Bob and Ashley, some of this information in this affidavit, affidavit is shocking. It alleges O'Donnell wanted several inmates to kill four different people. We spoke to people in Randolph County who didn't want to show their faces on camera, but say there is much more to the story. An affidavit released Tuesday from the Jackson County Sheriff's Office says this woman, Rebecca O'Donnell, tried to hire several inmates to kill Linda Collins' former husband, Phil Smith. One of the inmates told investigators that she wanted the death to look like a suicide. It changes up everybody's viewpoints, I'm sure, you know, and it, it forces more thought. Court documents say O'Donnell also wanted the inmates to find her impounded car and blow it up to destroy any evidence inside. According to the report, O'Donnell told the inmates that they would be paid in more than $20,000 worth of gold and silver that could be found inside the home of her former husband. A can of worms got open today. <laughs> a whole lot happened. And I mean, it's hard, like I said, hard to make heads or tails of it, but that's just a whole lot of stuff that got brought to the table today that should change the whole situation, if any of it's true. The alleged plot was to find Mr. Smith and shoot or hang him and to make it look like his wife, Mary was trying to leave him. The report also says O'Donnell asked the inmates to kill the judge and prosecutor assigned to the case. There's a lot more to the story that's still yet to unfold, I believe. O'Donnell allegedly asked another inmate if she, quote, knew any Mexican people that would be willing to kill. And we need to be praying for the families because if anybody can solve this, it's God. O'Donnell is also facing two counts of solicitation to commit tampering with evidence. To read the full affidavit, visit our website at krk.com.